Capturing devices for remanufacturing or repurposing is an important part of your job. One of the Idea Team's initiatives was to improve our capture of reprocessed devices. When we say reprocessed items, some folks just think the items have been cleaned really well. Nothing could be further from the truth. Let's use this pulse ox probe for example. After you save the device and put it in the reprocessing bin, our reprocessing company picks it up and sends it to their plant in Minnesota. After it arrives there, the device is taken apart and stripped down to its smallest components. Those components are cleaned, sterilized, and then the product is put back together with any porous or non-cleanable parts completely replaced. My pulse ox probe, for example, will be stripped to the wire and sensor. The portions that touch the patient and adhesive portions will be replaced with new components. The product is then tested to make sure it meets all of the original manufacturer's specifications. 100% of reprocessed devices are inspected. With new items, only a sample are inspected. Multiple studies have shown this inspection frequency makes remanufactured devices more reliable than new items. Our reprocessing initiative works because you do your part. Thanks for doing that. Hi, my name is Joe and I manage our reprocessing initiative. Last year, Washington Regional saved almost a million dollars by using reprocessed items. Last year alone, we reprocessed 34,000 devices that were bound for the landfill and given new life. Add these items to the captured in our recycle process, we kept about 60 tons of waste out of the landfill and gave it new life as a recycled item. My name is Michael Marino. I'm the coordinator for respiratory therapy. Uh, the idea that we wanted to bring to the Shark Tank team to try to uh, improve the flow of our care was the idea of not having paper requisitions for all of our orders. Um, and like everybody else, we were experiencing growth and requests for services, and we wanted to try to have some goals to try to improve uh, the time to see our patients. Uh, decrease some of the uh, redundant work that we have to do uh, so that way we give us more time to spend more quality time with our patients. I'm Claudia, I'm a respiratory therapist here at Washington Regional. I've been here 10 years so I was really used to that printer and when they they brought some of us together and said we, this is kind of the process we're going to get rid of the printer. I was the biggest skeptic. I was really really anxious about it, worried we were going to are we going to miss patients or what's going to happen? But um, now that we don't have it anymore, it's great. Um, the trial runs went great and we saved so much money on paper, um, saving trees, and we have a lot more time with our patients at the bedside. Um, it's just helped all of the department as far as working together. Um, so team works better. We, um, our productivity is great. And I love it. I love it. I would cer certainly recommend the Shark Tank. The idea of the Shark Tank, I think, that really is a good thing is that you really get an objective viewpoint. Sometimes you get into your own department and you're looking at your own processes and own plans. When you present that to an uh, interdisciplinary team, it really enables us to, um, to, for you to get a different perspective on, on the opportunities that are in front, in front of you. I think that Shark Tank is a, an important part of keeping employee morale up. I think that this has helped um, give us the confidence probably to come up with new ideas like this made a big difference and so any small idea can turn into a big a big idea and make a big difference. It's nice to know that our leadership is able to meet the needs of our employees and our co-workers. Thank you Washington Regional and thank all my co-workers. I truly appreciate being here and have a wonderful day.